The total solar eclipse is coming, affecting 13 states from Texas to Maine. And with that, traffic. The question comes down to, will there be hours of service exemptions or oversized overweight permit restrictions in your state? Let's get in the loop with loop and find out. Before we get into this, our CNS licensing team handles all licenses and permits at once, including IRP and IFTA licensing, title management, DOT numbers, authorities, and DMV or notary type services, including title transfers, duplicate titles, reconstruction, salvage, and more. Need help or want us to wait in line for you at the DMV? Call 717-627-4334 or email us at info at cnslicensing.com. Okay, so what is the worst case scenario when it comes to the April 8th solar eclipse for motor carriers? The answer is traffic. In 2017, Oregon DOT warned that the eclipse could cause the worst traffic mess in Oregon history. I was there. I saw it. The roads and highways in the morning were backed up for nearly 10 miles as I headed to work as people were leaving the Portland area to the local state parks. And this was several hours before the eclipse even started. Then there was the traffic after the eclipse. Yikes. Well, this year, Arkansas DOT is saying the eclipse will likely be the largest tourism event in the state's history, with 1.5 million people coming into the state and an estimated additional 700,000 vehicles will be on the state roadways. Their solution? RDOT is recommending carriers to take a voluntary truck holiday and park their vehicles for the day. Whether you take their advice or not, let's answer the original question. Can carriers claim hours of service exemption or will there be oversized overweight permit restrictions in your state? Let's tackle the easy one first. Can carriers claim hours of service exemptions for solar eclipse traffic issues? All drivers understand that heavy traffic will affect their travel times and are hoping these delays may be enough to offer that hours of service exemption or more specifically an adverse driving condition exemption. However, the language to qualify for this exemption does not include solar eclipse events. The major catch is that it is not an unexpected adverse driving condition. Adverse driving conditions under part 395.1b in the FMCSA regulation guidebook states that if unexpected adverse driving conditions slow you down, drivers can extend both their 11 hour clock and 14 hour clocks if they encounter adverse conditions during their trip. Adverse driving conditions mean things that you did not know about when you started your run, like unexpected snow, fog, or a shutdown of traffic due to a crash. Adverse driving conditions do not include situations that you should have known about, such as forecasted weather events, congested traffic during typical rush hour periods, widely talked about solar eclipse events, and more. I'm thinking you get the idea. So what is the solution? Trip planning. Either park your truck or plan routes differently around the April 8th in those 13 affected states. What states are these? Well, let's move on to the second question. Are there oversized overweight restrictions during the solar eclipse in your state? The short answer is yes. There will be some minor and major roadway restrictions in many states during the April 8th total solar eclipse. Let's look at each one. Arkansas. As I mentioned, RDOT is recommending carriers to take a voluntary truck holiday and park their vehicles for the day. Additionally, no oversized travel will be allowed during sunset of April 4th to sunset of April 10th. Illinois. Crowds of 100,000 to 200,000 are expected to come to the prime veering area in southern Illinois. I-57 is the direct interstate across the path of totality. US-45 runs through the middle of the path of totality as well. Illinois 1 and I-64 and 70 will provide access to the area. All roads in and out of the area are expected to have heavy congestion in the couple hours after the eclipse. Any lane closures on the state's projects will be lifted throughout the weekend and the day after the eclipse. However, no restrictions are currently applied for oversized overweight permits. Indiana. Indiana DOT will limit road closures and restrictions on state routes to help with traffic flow surrounding the eclipse. 
Oversized and overweight permits will also be temporarily suspended during this time. Kentucky. There are no specific oversized travel restrictions in place at the moment, but KYTC expected traffic congestions along I-24, I-69, US-41, US-68, Kentucky-80, and Pennywell Parkway. Highway crews will temporarily remove work zone lane restrictions along key routes in parts of Kentucky where heavy eclipse traffic is expected. For more details, check out the full article linked below on what those uh, construction projects are. Maine, no restrictions currently for oversized overweight permits. Missouri. Missouri is expected to receive large crowds from out of state and out of country, but no restrictions currently for oversized overweight permits. New Hampshire. New Hampshire DOT is encouraging all visitors to Coos County on Monday, April 8th to stay on the state highways to reach the eclipse viewing venues and for their return trip home. Some secondary highways and local roads were not designed to handle the large volumes of traffic and springtime in the North County can bring frost heaves and very soft shoulders. No restrictions currently on oversized overweight permits there. Ohio. The Ohio Emergency Management Agency estimates between 150 to 575,000 travelers will visit the state for the solar eclipse. However, there's no restrictions currently for oversized and overweight permits. However, lane closures typically set for construction work zones and other maintenance projects will not be permit permitted prior, during, or after the eclipse. Additionally, Cleveland decided to restrict oversized load movement, stating that no OVM shall be able to move in certain areas from April 1st to April 8th. Oklahoma. The large influx of visitors to southeastern Oklahoma could overwhelm and back up the area's road systems. The major highways in the area is US 70, US 259, and State Highway 3. These roads are mostly two-lane highways passing through small towns. For McCurtain County, oversized travel will be restricted from April 8th to April 9th. Pennsylvania. There's currently no restrictions for oversized and overweight permits. Travelers can expect heavy traffic near state parks in Crawford County, Erie County, and in Mercer County. New York. Due to very large traffic volumes on the day of the eclipse and also the day after, as viewers will be returning home, New York State DOT is restricting all oversized travel within counties that are in the path of the eclipse. When's the restricted oversized travel? From 6 a.m. on Monday, April 8th to 9 p.m. Tuesday, April 9th. Additionally, in conformance with NYS DOT, the New York State Thruway Authority will also be restricting oversized travel on I-90 in both directions from exit 24 in Albany to Pennsylvania Line and on I-190 during this time. Link to the New York map for the affected counties is in the bio below. Texas. Up to 488,000 visitors could cram into Kernville, a town of like 25,000, about 100 miles west of Austin. The seat of Kerr County is on I-10, providing a direct pipeline of traffic from San Antonio and Houston. Multiple state agencies are working together to prepare for emergency response and increased traffic. Texas DOT crews are getting equipment and traffic signs together to help direct traffic safely and will also be available 24 hours a day during this event. Dozens of counties near the line of totality are restricting oversized overweight permits and travel from midnight to midnight on April 8th. Link of the map in the bio below for those affected counties. Vermont. Vermont DMV is instituting the Saturday, Sunday, and holiday restrictions for over uh, dimension and overweight commercial motor vehicles effective for Monday, April 8th. The restrictions include temporarily prohibiting permits and vehicles on state highways unless otherwise stated if vehicles are over 100 feet long and 12 feet wide and weighing more than 108 
thousand pounds. VTrans is also advising Vermonters to ask friends and family visiting the eclipse to extend their stay to prevent a surge of traffic on April 8th. Well, there you have it. Everything carriers need to know about the solar eclipse in 2024. If you're gonna be looking up, please wear protective glasses, have fun, and as always, stay safe out there.